Now in this episode, you better pay attention. Why? Because I'm going to show you how to cover your butt when you write an estimate. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IAPath. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at IPATH, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to IPATH.com. Any estimate that you ever write must be proven. And the only way it's proven is based on the photos that you take of what's damaged. So if you can't photo something, you can't write it on an estimate. So what are you supposed to do when you know something's damaged? What should you write to cover your butt? Because you know it's damaged, but you just can't prove it. We call this open items in the auto damage appraisal industry. So first off, when you can't prove something is damaged, but suspect it is, you need to write it as an open item in your appraisal report. We write appraisal reports to give a summary of what we saw, about the damages to the vehicle, about anything the owner might have stated, but for covering our own butt, we're gonna write things that we think are gonna come up later. Things like potentially damaged engine. Those go on your appraisal report as open items. And in this video, I'm going to give you some examples of what I write when writing an appraisal report so you can cover your butt better than anybody else. The second thing about open items is you still need to try to take photos of the areas that are around the suspected damaged area. Don't just write an open item and not try to take a photo of that section that you think is damaged. You should show why you think an area may have damage with your photos. Even if you can't document an individual part, at least take pictures of the area surrounding it to document why you believe it's an open item. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. The third thing about open items is the areas that frequently have open items and that you should be thinking about when you're doing your auto damage inspections. Engine, mechanical, inner structure, frame, suspension, or what I call hidden damage, part price changes, and additional labor are all terms I use frequently in my appraisal report. I don't care if I think there's nothing else damaged, I'm going to write for open items are hidden damage, part price changes, and additional labor, because that covers almost anything under the sun that comes. If you suspect something specific like the engine or a suspension part, or frame, you need to write that in addition to those kind of preset notes that I use. Next thing is, you don't want the insurance company who's paying to fix this vehicle to be surprised that, whoa, the, the engine needs replaced? Why didn't you tell us? You're the appraiser. 
well, I couldn't prove it with the photo. No, we don't want them to be surprised. So not only is this covering your butt, you're covering the insurance company's butt that they understand what they're getting into as the vehicle's going forward with the repair. They need to understand the scope of damages that they may have to pay for. That's part of your job as an appraiser. As an auto damage appraiser or adjuster, we're really consumed with two things. One, what is the cost of the damages to the vehicle? And two, what is that vehicle worth? Don't let the insurance company be surprised of the open items because then you failed at one of those jobs. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love riding along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at ipath.com slash TV. Last thing about open items, you've got to determine potential dollar amounts that those open items represent and put it inside your report. Now, I recommend going a bit higher than you actually estimate the open items are. Why? Because you're not perfect. I promise you that. After doing this for 12 years, I'm always shocked at the additional amount of damages we cannot see on the original inspection. So when you think there's $2,000 worth of open items, put $3,000 worth of open items, put potential open damage amount, $3,000, something to that effect. Remember, we're trying to prepare the insurance company for what they may be potentially liable for across the whole claim, not just at the beginning. A lot of times an inside adjuster has to make a decision. Should I fix this vehicle or should I just buy it outright as a total loss? And this open item cost amount comes into that calculation. If they know that there might be $5,000 in additional damages once it goes to a shop, they may determine to go ahead and total loss it. So that's our job to inform people about what may be damaged and of course, what is damaged. But don't let anybody be surprised by leaving off open items. My name is Chris Stanley and we at IAPATH are dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to have an amazing adjusting career that will help you break into the insurance industry so you can obtain freedom in your career and life. If you need help learning how to get work, head over to iPath.com and click the how to find work button. We'll send you a free video course that shares insider tips on how to get started. And until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.